It is made of crickets, which I don't, I'm not, I don't judge things. It seems like a good idea in theory, and that's why I'm including it in this video. I have in this video four different protein powder brands that I personally have gone through, analyzed the nutrition labels, and decided these are the best of the best. So before I go into which brands I picked, I'm going to let you know why I picked them. Number one, protein per serving. It's the absolute worst if you're going to pick a protein powder that has almost no grams of protein per scoop. And it's terrible when the serving size is five scoops. You're going to go through that protein powder very fast. If you know the price of protein powder, you obviously want to get more bang for your buck. So that's one of the reasons I try to find protein per serving. The next thing I look at is sodium. Obviously, hypertension is a crisis, not only in the United States, but worldwide. So if we can try to cut down on our average daily sodium intake, that is best, which is why I have hand-picked protein powders that have sodium that goes below 480 milligrams per serving. There was another protein powder that I did not include that was an honorable mention that I will include a screenshot of just so you can see it. It is the gold standard protein powder brand. They just had a higher sodium content so I did not want to include them. The next factor that I look at is leucine. Leucine is extremely important in muscle protein synthesis. So if you do not have the right amount of leucine, your body physiologically cannot and won't be as efficient at creating the muscle that you need for your body. Now, one last note that I wanted to drop is that I did not go through any whey proteins. So if you see any brands that are not your favorites and you happen to enjoy whey protein, I did not do that in this video simply because I can't have whey and I don't need to be tasting things that I am allergic to. So I personally have an intolerance to milk proteins and the milk sugar, just milk, dairy in general of all species of animals, even cats. Just kidding. I've never had cat milk. No one should. But I don't have whey protein powders in this video. Um, I don't recommend it for a lot of my clients because I work with mature adults and for my clients, so over 40 individuals, you may actually have a dairy insensitivity or some dairy intolerances that could be causing some hormone irregularity, hormone imbalances in your system. So it's not one that I do recommend, although it does have some research to support appropriate muscle protein synthesis. So it doesn't mean that I'm saying avoid it or I'm trying to demonize dairy. I'm just saying that for clients that have hormone imbalances such as menopause, premenopause women, and then other conditions of the thyroid, you may want to consider avoiding not only dairy, but also gluten as well. Referring to gluten specifically for those with thyroid conditions. Brand number one, Sun Warrior. Brand number two, Vega or Vega. Brand number three, Garden of Life Sport Blend. Now, I should mention, all three of these brands are gluten-free and they're plant-based, but please double check the ingredients just in case you have allergies to any of the food items in the ingredients. And brand number four, human improvement. Why do I grimace at this one? It's cricket protein powder, and I'm gonna try it. All right, first up, let's talk about Sun Warrior briefly and why I picked it. Number one, one scoop is a serving size, and per scoop we have 17 grams of plant-based protein. That's pretty good per serving. For me, I'd like to see anywhere between 17 grams and then 30 grams of protein. If I could add more, that'd be great. There are some people that say, hey, but what about the damage to the kidneys? I'm talking specifically for mature adults. Now, if you have a renal condition, obviously you need to consult your doctor or healthcare provider, but in general, the research findings indicate that older adults can benefit from higher protein consumption. So I wouldn't worry too much about it, but always check with your doctor. All right, so after the serving size now, next thing, sodium. 230 milligrams of sodium per serving, so per scoop. That's pretty okay. But remember, sodium adds up throughout the day, and the American Heart Association has a lower limit of 1,500 milligrams of sodium per day and an upper limit, meaning don't go past this, of 2,300 milligrams of sodium per day. Most Americans get 3,400 milligrams of sodium per day. 
So with the 230 milligrams of, of sodium per serving, I'm happy with that. One other thing I failed to mention in the beginning is total carbohydrates per serving. And this one has two. Why do I care about this? Because a lot of people are going to throw in a bunch of fruit in their smoothies if they're making it with a smoothie and they're adding protein powder to their smoothie. In general, though, if we're wanting protein and we're getting it from a plant-based source, it can be kind of hard to decrease the amount of carbohydrates that we're getting and just get pure protein. So this is why I like Sun Warrior because they have a ratio of 17 grams to two. This does depend on the flavor. So if you like chocolate, the protein may actually go down by about two grams per serving, something to consider. Of course, as part of the carbohydrates, zero added sugars. This is a bonus for me. For those of you watching your weight, 90 calories per serving is also relatively decent, considering there's 17 grams of protein in it. It's decent. And the leucine content here is 1385, so 1,385 milligrams per serving, which is pretty good. I personally would like to see it above 2,000 milligrams, so, but let's move on to the next brand. All right, here we are, Vega or Vega or Vega. I, I, I. For Vega, the nutrition facts show that there's 170 calories per serving. And how big is a serving? One scoop. Oh, goody. So they actually give us a scoop that packs a punch a lot of, instead of those tiny little scoops. And I like that about this. The protein per serving is going to be 30 grams. That I like to see because that means you're using one scoop instead of two or five, depending on what brand you're using. Moving on to the sodium, 370 milligrams per serving. That's okay because of the protein. Now, if you were to compare Sun Warrior to Vega, then you would see that two scoops of Sun Warrior end up getting roughly 30 grams of protein, let's say, but that would double the sodium per serving because you're using two scoops instead of one. Now, Sun Warrior is worse as far as sodium for the amount you would get depending on protein, if you're going for protein. So that's why I like Vega, because it has 30 grams of protein per serving, per scoop, which is great. Total carbohydrate, four grams. Total sugars is one gram versus zero for Sun Warrior, which is not that big of a deal because the main focus is the added sugar. And I see zero, which is good. And I like to see zero added sugars. All right, let's look up the leucine content that I almost could not even find on this label, but it's way down here. Leucine per scoop is 2.56 grams, which is actually pretty good per scoop. Now, does Sun Warrior have that beat if you use two scoops? Yes, but only by a hair of 200 milligrams, which is almost negligible. Last but not least, let's pop over to the ingredients, which I realize I didn't do for Sun Warrior, but that's just because Sun Warrior does not have this in here. In the ingredients for the Vega protein powder, Vega, we have probiotics listed in here. And you'll see bacillus coagulans, which is GBI 30, 60, 86. No, this is not an alien they're putting in your protein powder. Although it sounds like a scientific experiment, it actually is. It is a strain of bacteria that was created from a natural bacteria. Now, while this was created in a lab for food products, it does have research-backed evidence to support its ability to help the gut absorb protein, specifically the amino acids, I should say. What better marriage between a probiotic and protein powder than a probiotic that helps you absorb amino acids even more? This is why I like this brand, Vega, for older adults, because this can help further your absorption and utilization of amino acids. However, if you're not accustomed to probiotics, you may have a gut reaction because your gut is getting used to the probiotic. But for some people that don't take probiotics regularly, you may need to test out the probiotic to see if it actually sits well with your gut. Just something to consider. Not all probiotics are created equal. All right, next up, Garden of Life. Now, I should mention, this Garden of Life brand specifically is kosher certified. So if you are looking for a kosher diet, that is something to consider. The other two are not kosher certified. So now, checking over on Garden of Life, what I really like is that they showed per one scoop and then they showed per two scoops. For one scoop, obviously it's not too impressive, but it's 80 cal calories, which is obviously less calories than Sun Warrior. So instead of looking at one scoop, I'm going to look at two scoops because the label says the serving size is two scoops, which I appreciate that they showed both, just so that way people 
can see what they're getting in one scoop without having to do a bunch of math. So for two scoops, that's 160 calories per serving, which is decent. What we're getting is 30 grams of protein per two scoops, which while you may go through this a little bit faster, it still is good because it's giving you the 30 grams and they are saying our serving size is two scoops. What I really like about this brand is the sodium. So for any individuals that are hypertensive or they obviously want to keep their sodium intake down, if you have certain renal conditions, always check with your doctor. This one is what I like because it's only 160 milligrams for their serving size. That's really good compared to, compared to the other protein powders. Question is, how is it gonna taste? Now I also see a seven gram of carbohydrate if we're looking at the total carbohydrate. So that's a 30 to seven ratio of the protein to carbs, which is okay. We see less than one gram of sugars and none are added sugars. So I like that from all of these brands so far. Leucine, again, this is for two scoops because that's a serving size, 2,527 milligrams of leucine. That's pretty good. I like that one. Now, am I going to scrutinize something because it has 100 to 200 milligrams less or more than another brand? No, not really. I just want to see that for the serving, it's more than 2,000 milligrams. Moving on down to the ingredients. Now, if you look at this label, you'll notice that it has a lot of pea, bean. Be wary if you are intolerant to beans, of course. But what I really wanted to focus on is the 2 billion CFUs of probiotics. So the Garden of Life and the Vega ha both have 2 billion colony forming units or CFUs of probiotics. However, different species. And remember, probiotics are little bacteria. So the things that you get worried about getting sick from bacteria, no, healthy bacteria. It basically keeps the bad bacteria at bay. This species is Bifidobacterium lactis. Now it is considered BLO4 and that's just its strain title. So once again, these are formulated bacteria. So they're basically bred and created for food items. So it is from a lab. But the great thing about this is that it has been found, or this particular strain, the Bifidobacterium lactis, has some evidence to support the immune capability, immune support for the body, and as well as digestive health too. Now, does it specifically have research to show that it helps absorb amino acids? No, but it does have a lot of other evidence to support its beneficial effects on the holistic health of the body, which is pretty good, especially if you're wondering about immune function. All right, why? I'm sure you're asking. I'm asking myself the same question, but it's because it's different. It is made of crickets, which... I don't, I'm not, I don't judge things. It seems like a good idea in theory, and that's why I'm including it in this video. It's sustainable. Obviously, if you're vegan, you won't want this at all, but this is considered more sustainable. Uh, it's considered a healthy protein, but as long as you don't have a shellfish allergy, which I'm hoping I don't. So if you don't know if you have a shellfish allergy or not, don't try this. While it is cricket protein, they have to blend it with other things. So there's pumpkin in there. It should be delicious. Remind me of Thanksgiving. I'll just have to tell you because unfortunately on Amazon, they don't list the ingredients, which I don't think is right. So I'm going to read it to you here just so you know what's actually in this because that's one thing that I'd give them a thumbs down for. Put your ingredients list on Amazon. Just throwing that out there, human improvement. So in this, there's cricket protein powder. It's organic, it better be. Organic pumpkin protein powder, organic brown rice protein powder, organic pea protein, natural vanilla flavors. Psyllium husk powder, that's a good one. Coconut milk, dairy free. Organic flaxseed, pink Himalayan salt, organic stevia. Monk fruit extract, MCT powder, medium chain triglycerides, which is MCT powder. So in essence, I'm, I make, I, I don't wanna say I'm excited, um, Let's look at the nutrition label. So for this one, it has 140 calories per serving. Serving size is one packet, uh, but it's 37 grams. So roughly a scoop of, I think the Vega, 41 grams is the Vega. So a little bit less than a scoop size of the Vega or Vega protein powder. So that's 140 calories. In it, you will find 21 grams of protein. So that's better than Sun Warrior, but the calories are obviously a little higher because of that. The sodium, 280 milligrams of sodium. 
for the one packet or 37 grams. That's not bad. Obviously, it's better than the Vega. Vega. But it's not as good as the Sun Warrior. However, notice, noting the protein ratio to sodium and the amount that you're actually getting, it's considered better. Total carbohydrates is 6 grams. So for 21 grams of protein, you're getting 6 grams of carbohydrate. Not bad. Most of that's healthy fiber. I wonder what from. Total sugars, one gram, but zero are added sugars. Shout out to them for using stevia and monk fruit. Uh, that's awesome. As far as the leucine goes, for one serving, it appears that there are 1,546 milligrams of leucine. You know, compared to how much protein there should be, I'm not too impressed with that, but it still is okay. Now, I should mention that every brand that I have here today, I am not sponsoring. No one asked me to do this. I went on on Amazon and I bought all of this myself, including the Cricut protein powder. But if you notice, I got jugs of them all and I got a packet of this one. So I don't mean to make assumptions and that's why I'm tasting it. I'm tasting it today.